Hello everybody, this is Bazker back again with a quick look video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mini Metro. Mini Metro is a kind of a train simulator kind of game or a tram or trolley. Um, the idea is that you build um, pathways between train stops um, that have uh, different shapes at them, so like triangles, squares, circles, that kind of deal. And you go to um, pick them up and deliver them to their appropriate location. So a triangle will only get off of a stop at a triangle stop. Um, they could show up at a circle stop, but they want to be taken to a triangle stop. Um, there's multiple shapes and uh, that nature. You can extend your trolleys to have multiple cars. Um, you can have bigger stations. Um, but the idea of the game is to make uh, train lines that are as efficient as possible and can work autonomously. You're not. You don't really want to be managing them a lot. Um, there's a little bit of management you can do, um, but the idea is just let it run and uh, take people where they need to go as quickly as possible and just last as long as you possibly can. And um, there's daily challenges. Um, I've actually had this game installed for oh, probably a year now, and um, I got it on Steam really, really cheap um, on a Steam sale. I'm not sure what the cost of it is right now. I will put a link to it in the description of the video, though. And um, it was a Let Them Dare competition entry uh, originally, and they um, turned it into a full-fledged game, got a Steam release, and um, I understand it's doing quite well. And it, it's for obvious reasons. It's it's a fun little game to play. Uh, it's not a game you're going to want to sit around and play for hours on end, I doubt, but um, it certainly is fun, and I think it would work really well as a mobile game with a few tweaks, and they may already have that. I'm not sure. I haven't checked into it, but I, I could really see this as a really good game to be playing, like when you're sitting in the back of a car on a road trip or something. Uh, it, it's really quite good in that respect. Um, so I'm going to go into play, and we're just going to play a uh, general one here. Um, I'm going to start with London, I think. And you can kind of scroll through them. Uh, you just click to go to the one you want. Uh, we can start here with London. It, it's just a real basic one, and I'll show you how to go about it. I love the little intros here. It's just real smooth. These are your train lines down here. And all you do is you want to drag from one place to another. So we had a square wanting to go there, so we wanted to dig him down here. Uh, this one, we have a triangle is wanting to go here. So if I click and drag again, you're going to get a new line. So I'm using two of my lines already. Now I can extend the lines as well. And you can create bridges under, or tunnels rather, underneath these, or bridges or tunnels, I'm not exactly sure. Um, ideally, you wouldn't want to go circle to circle, but um, I only have three tunnels, so I don't want to um, use them all up right away. And you can see we already got another uh, circle up here, so it's not the best scenario in the world. So what I'm going to try to do is this. Oh, good. We can do it. We didn't have to connect under the bridge. I mean under the water there, so that was kind of cool. And I'm going to, I think, I'm going to create another new line for now and we'll just do this now they can get off here and then go to another and that kind of thing they don't have to be stuck where they're at um, now what I'm gonna do as soon as he picks him up I'm gonna drag this down and that removes it from there I'm gonna run it here and then run it back up here and then that way at least we have a stop because chances of a circle getting on at a circle and wanting to go to a circle it is not likely you can see a timer up here. Uh, if you click on it, you can increase the speed if you'd like. And you can see I'm out of trains, so I could have multiple more lanes even, but I don't have any more trains. And you can kind of drag it a little bit. You can't really zoom out. It kind of does its thing on its own. I'm going to drag down here. So we had one show up here. It'll zoom out automatically as um, new stops are added. And eventually you'll kind of, I guess, level up would maybe be the right term here. Um, I'm going to do this. You can see he'll continue to go up here. And I'm going to do this, and then this, and then that way he's doing this. Now, um, here we go. We, we've leveled, I guess you would say. And we're going to get a locomotive for doing that. Um, and then we get a choice. You almost always get a locomotive. I think always you get a locomotive. But then you get a choice. 
It's like, what, what do you want? Do you want two more tunnels? Or do you want another line? Well, we already have two tunnels left, um, so we don't necessarily need that one right now. And I know for a fact they'll come up again later, I just don't know when. Um, I'm not sure if um, there's a sequence to it. I believe it's mostly random. Um, I could be wrong. But I'm going to choose a new line for now. I think that's the way to go. And um, there's an argument to be made that circular paths, so there's no like back and forth motion like we have in all these right now, is the way to go. And I tend to agree, but it's not always possible to create a very optimized circular path, so that's not something I'm always going to do. And if I was to drag this yellow one back this way, it would delete the tunnel as well and add it back to our pool. Um, actually, I want to do that. Um, better route. Well, yeah, there's not really a good way of doing this. And I do have another line. Um, so probably the best thing to do would be to circle to square. And I'm going to go ahead and run it to the triangle as well. And you can see we used up a locomotive and a line. Now, there can be more than one locomotive per line. That's something to keep in mind. I'm going to come up here like this. So we can see red's already becoming our most used line, probably. It's got the most stops anyways. And you can delete a whole line, too, just by simply dragging it back and forth. Just use the little connectors at the ends to go where you want to go or to remove what you want to remove or move them to where you want to go. And um, from a playability standpoint, watching this, watching somebody play, probably not that interesting. Um, but I wanted to give you kind of an idea of how the game plays so that when it is on sale on Steam, if it's not already, um, it's a, probably a good game you'd like to play. It's, it's fun. Um, you don't want things to sit here for too long. Eventually they'll sit there for so long and um, you won't be able to catch up with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this blue line here, and then I'm going to run this blue line here. This isn't a tunnel, it's just kind of a, I don't know, just signifying I guess that it's under the other one. And you can't cross your lines either, so if I was to try to do this, see it won't work. So that's something to keep in mind too as you're designing your layouts. And sometimes you do have to like delete lines and start over again, but you got to be real careful doing that because if you do it, you could end up with um, uh, just losing the game because you get too many people at one place. Um, so now the question becomes is do we want to add a carriage, which would mean just on this locomotive we can add another carriage on it and you can pick up more people at one time, or do we want some more tunnels again? Well, we still have one tunnel left. Um, and it could burn us if we don't take those tunnels, but I kind of think the carriage is going to be the way to go. And it'll just sit down here. We don't have to use it right now, but we could. Um, and this one upgraded to a star. We didn't have to change anything. It just upgraded on its own. And I think the thing to do here would be to put this on the red line. And I can just put it anywhere. As long as there's only one locomotive, it'll put it on the only locomotive there is. Otherwise, it'll put it on the closest locomotive. Now, if I wanted, I could add another locomotive. So, like, when this one was, like, halfway through to here, I could put another one going this direction, and then they'd kind of back and forth overlap each other. And as you can see, you got one here. And eventually, when a person shows up here, it'll start to, like, highlight and let us know over time. Um, and unfortunately, we don't have a really good way of getting down there because I can't do that. Um... And I really hate to do it on the red line, but I may have to. The red line seems like the way to go. One thing I could do is I could do this. That'll allow us to still use just the one tunnel. And I'm going to circle this line. Actually, let me think here. Undo this. Let's see, can I run this one under? No, I cannot. Okay, so I can't do that, so we are going to run this one here. And unfortunately, we're back in this spot now where we've got circle, circle, circle. And sometimes you just can't do anything about it. 
and up here we have triangle, triangle, triangle. <laughs> um, on this one, I could do maybe I don't know circle, triangle. No, I cannot loop back around. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do this, and then I'm going to do this. So you can just click and drag a line, and it'll connect it to one. Oh my, we got a really full one right here. Um, okay, so let's see. We got a locomotive. That's good. And we got a carriage. Um, I'm going to take the carriage. And I'm going to put the carriage on this yellow one. And you can remove trains and carriages too. You just click and drag them off of there. And you can see we're going to probably lose here. Um, and I don't want this video to be super long. These quick looks are supposed to be just that really quick. So if we lose, we lose. But I could do an emergency management thing here and put a locomotive on here and pick, start picking these guys up. Um, I just really don't want to do that. And we can't circle back around here still, so we won't be doing that. Um, about the only thing we can do is drag the red line up here. And you can see we're going to lose. There it goes. So um, I kind of let that happen on purpose just to show you the losing condition. I want to keep these quick looks, uh, just that, a quick look at the game. Um, if you got any questions about this game, if you'd like to see more videos of this game, let me know. Um, I certainly don't mind doing a small series on this at all. Um, they're usually relatively quick little things. Um, there is a daily event, um, and I might, if I decide I'm really into this game again, I, I might do the daily events and just put out a video on each of the events that I do. Haven't decided yet, um, but that's something we could do. Now, at this point, you do get the option to restart and uh, try to better your score. You can see 264 passengers in 23 days. Or I could continue in endless mode. Um, where I just get to keep going and it doesn't matter if you let them back up or not. Um, but your high scores no longer get calculated up with everybody else's. Or you can go back to the main menu. You also down here have a graph. And if you look at it, you can um, kind of see like these daily trips and total trips and average waiting time. Um, I'm not exactly sure how useful this is unless you're really, really into the game. But yeah, it's there if you want to mess with it. Um, I believe you can take screenshots and video or what these other two options are. I haven't actually utilized them, but they're there if you want to use them. And if you go back to the menu, um, it takes you back to this main section here. Um, if I click on this graph here, you can actually see where your ranking is amongst all the other players ever. So um, that's kind of cool. It's got a, a high scoreboard that's um, for each one of the levels, um, at each different train location and everything you can see what people have done and you, you know you can see uh, this uh, boo boo I guess here or Bubba probably Bubba um, had, did 4814 passengers um, doesn't say over how many days um, so I'm not exactly sh sure why it doesn't do that I, I would have that in my score if it was me but I didn't build this so, so that, but you can see um, on this one level I'm in the top 45 percent so that's kind of cool just neat little um, piece of information you get there and get a good idea of how well you're doing um, and you can see on all of them what you've done um, and you can see Bubba is not the high one here so and I do believe that's gonna do it uh, thanks for watching if you'd like to see more of mini Metro please let me know in the comments below if you got any questions about the game please let me know and other than that like comment subscribe and I'll catch you back next time